Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're continuing our Cook With Me series today here in our RV kitchen. And while we've been working with some healthier recipes lately, let's make no mistake that today is not that day. I needed a comfort food dish after a long week of work and we're making halushki. I think that's comfort food 101 for a lot of Eastern European families. I already had some of the ingredients, but I had to stop and get the others and then just get set for the weekend. But for this recipe, you're gonna need some egg noodles, you're gonna need some sausage, bacon, cabbage and onion and then butter but I already had some of that and in terms of the preparation one of the things that I like to do first is I'm going to get the onion chopped here in a second I think the best recommendation I can provide for this is when you eat your food how big of a piece of onion do you like to taste this is different for every person I don't know the traditional way it's done in some of those Eastern European countries but I like to bite into my sauteed onions and know that they're there some people don't like the squeakiness between the teeth with onions I don't necessarily mind that too much but we're going to get that sorted here we're going to get these onions chopped and then we're going to worry about the rest of the ingredients but relatively speaking you know i this is definitely not a healthy food here but it's going to be one of the best things that's just comfort food when it comes right out after it but i am getting my vegetables you see i'm dicing up my cabbage here maybe not dice i'm going to slice it up again how big of a bite do you want to taste of each of your vegetables so I rinse this off. I'm just going to kind of slice through it so they're like ribbons almost. And we're going to get that prepped and ready to go. You know, I don't know where you buy your vegetables, but mine don't come pre-seasoned. And when it comes to plain vegetables, I do really like to eat my vegetables. But I do like them to have a little bit of seasoning. With that in mind, I'm going to put in a little, a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to add some veggie sprinkles. Not sponsored. I just happen to really like the product, whether you're cooking these or they're raw. Okay, next up is bacon preparation. And I, mean, I told you this wasn't gonna be healthy, but I'm gonna make the bacon and I'm gonna make uh, this first. It's essentially gonna be crumbles uh, in the on the top of the dish once you're all said and done. But then I'm gonna use the bacon grease to kind of uh, make up or crisp up the, the kielbasa sausage. You know, and once we get this all sliced, sliced up, we need to fry it. But before I do anything, I just want to point out, I really do love these pots and pans that don't have the handle on them from uh, T-Fowl. They are great for RV life. Uh, I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just happen to really like this product for RV cooking. But I put the bacon in there, and I'm going to start to get that crisped up a little bit. I'm going to struggle here a little bit getting this kielbasa sausage, uh, you know, packaging open. I'm probably only going to use about one of these links. Um, that'll be enough for tonight and for some leftovers for tomorrow. Slice them up pretty however you like to do them. Uh, but then, like I said, once the bacon is done, then we are going to crisp up the sausage bites, these bits, in the bacon grease. And that's just going to continue to kind of add some flavors to the sausage and just make everything even that much more delicious because, you know, bacon may not be good for you, but it's certainly tasty. Okay, so we have everything ready to go. We're now just kind of waiting for everything to kind of cook in its varying stages of the process so we can put it all together. We were making sure that bacon was getting fried up. Here we're making sure that we can get our egg noodles started. They're going to go kind of quick, so do keep an eye on them. Double check the packaging just to make sure that you don't overcook them. And then once that bacon was done, like I said, I was putting the sausage in there, into cooking it into that bacon grease, just trying to crisp everything up while simultaneously just double check and keep an eye on your egg noodles so you don't go too far. But once the sausage is at a point where you like it, and uh, you can then start to add in your vegetable seasoning. So this is the, the cabbage and the onions. Just give everything a good stir. You may need a few more veggie sprinkles at this point. That's totally okay too. But once the vegetables are where you like them, then you're adding in your cooked egg noodles and you're starting to bring everything together. You're gonna add a knob of butter down there. That's gonna help bring everything together. It creates a little bit of a sauce. Um, within the pan itself and it's just going to help make everything extra flavorful. I did double check my recipe and forget that I did have garlic and I needed to add it but here's our finished product. It's really good and we really like trying new recipes. Until next time be sure to live life outside of the work that you do.